Dr. Joanne Taylor, a historian of Second Temple Judaism, in her book, What Did Jesus Look Like?, says this, There is a reason why no one particularly commented on the color of Jesus' eyes or hair or skin. His were the same as just about everyone else's in the region. Brown eyes, olive brown skin, black hair. Taylor says that Jesus' skin coloration would have looked similar to this image of a first century mummy portrait of Artemodorus. Notice Artemodorus is not white. He has olive brown skin. Taylor also writes, I think the closest correspondence to what Jesus really looked like is found in the depiction of Moses on the walls of the 3rd century synagogue of Dura Europus, since it shows how a Jewish sage was imagined in the Greco-Roman world. And again, notice that in this depiction of Moses, he is not white, he has olive brown skin. Jesus and the rest of the Jewish community living in Israel had pretty much the same skin color as the Canaanites. Now, let me quote someone that De La Torre should agree with. In the book, Decolonizing Christianity, the author says this, Most of those who insist they are followers of the dark-skinned Middle Eastern Jewish rabbi called Yeshua voted for a person who promised to make America great again by throwing this dark-skinned Yeshua foreigner into a migrant camp. Miguel de la Torre is the one who wrote this. In his sermon, de la Torre strongly implies that Jesus was white. But here in his book, Jesus is a dark-skinned, Middle Eastern Jewish rabbi called by his Hebrew name Yeshua. To me, it seems that de la Torre is painting the color of Jesus' skin to whatever way suits the political point he's trying to make. 